Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. Once again, this is Francis Glenfiddich and for today, I would like to share with you how I'm propagating my petunias. So, if you are regular to my channel and have watched some of my videos, you know that I'm not really keen to uh, propagating my petunias through the use of seed pods because first of all, for me, I think it takes so long before the petunias turn like this one to become like a ball of flower. So for today, I would like to propagate this red petunia that um, I have here. As you can see, I just um, bought this uh, white urn yesterday and I just realized that it will really look good if I'm going to combine a red petunia onto this white urn that we have in here and can you imagine if you have this kind of ball of petunia a red color into this kind of urn I think it will really look good so as we all know that uh, petunias respond really well when you cut them so for today I don't want to waste this uh, cuttings from this uh, very beautiful petunias that I have in here so I'm going to do some cuttings from this main plant and later on I will show you the steps on how to do it so in addition I think I would love to do some cuttings also from this um, purple petunia that I have in here um, the red petunia and this purple petunia used to be in here together but then I realized that the red petunia will uh, certainly match well this uh, white urn that we have and I will just leave this upper petunia in this uh, plant urn that I have in here because I think it's uh, dominating this uh, planter than uh, that red petunia and I want to cut this one as well so it would respond well and will become um, bushier after maybe two weeks or a month so I'm going to do some cuttings of this one as well. So what do we need in propagating petunias through cuttings? So first up, we need scissors. We need clean scissors in order to make sure that we're not transmitting any disease to the plant. And if you want to use gloves as well, such as the one I have in here, then do so. Next, prepare your potting mix. So based on my experience, my cuttings respond really well on a potting mix and make sure that you water the potting mix, that this is wet before you put your cuttings in here. Then if you want, you can also use a stick so that it will be easier for you to plant those cuttings on your potting mix. By the way, you probably noticed that I didn't fill up the whole pot with potting mix. This is because I want to protect the plants or the cuttings from the strong winds and from the air itself. Because the air takes away the moisture that the plant needs in order to produce those roots that it needs to survive. So now, you need to strip down those extra leaves. At this stage, your cuttings don't need lots of leaves and you need to remove those buds as well. The reason behind is it's still taking away the energy to produce a flower. So you can help the cuttings divert the energy into forming roots by stripping down the buds as much as you can. But don't cut the tip of your cuttings because later on, your cuttings will need new leaves for photosynthesis when your cutting starts to grow roots. So now, I'm going to show you the most important secret to multiplying your plants through cuttings. So this is the rooting hormone powder that I use for my petunia propagation. 
what you need to do is to dip the cottons in this powder like what I'm going to show you now so I'm going to take one of my cottons and then dip it like one centimeter to one and a half centimeter then start planting them into your pot so as simple as that and then go ahead with your second cutting do the same process and then land it again so just continue the whole process until you plant all of your cuttings into your pot all right so guys here are the cuttings that I just made so these are the red ones and these are the purple ones so by the way guys just a piece of advice I would suggest you to just do your cuttings when it's late in the afternoon because it is not that hot and it is also going to help retain the moisture of the soil and also it's gonna be very very beneficial uh, to the cuttings if it's not that hot and so there you go guys so here i would like to share also some cuttings that i just made like three to four weeks ago so as you can see here i have the flowers already so this is the reason why i prefer to do the cutting propagation than uh, the seeds because um, I don't need to really wait that long in order to see the flowers of uh, my new plants and in addition guys I would like to suggest you to place your cuttings where it can get the morning sun like what my cat is doing now so the morning sun is really very beneficial not just for your cat but also for your cuttings because the morning sun is not that hot compared to noontime and the afternoon sun and i hope you guys like uh, the video that i created today and please feel free to comment down below share and subscribe thank you